This is something. This is a lot. <laughs> Hi ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back for another video and guess what? We're doing another get ready with me. I feel naked because I ain't got nothing in my hand. This, this is an empty Starbucks girl, but this makes me feel better. Y'all know that I've been doing get ready with me's and we get, re get ready with me's. I've been doing different looks. Um, and today for this get ready with me, we're gonna do a little hair a little, like we always do, this is a two-in-one get ready with me. It's a little bit of makeup, it's a little bit of hair, and it's a whole lot of cute. <laughs> I'm doing a wig look, obviously. Well, maybe it's not obvious, because girl, can you tell us a wig? No, you can't. I'm gonna I'm stop you before you even say anything. <laughs> for this wig look, I was going for super effortless curls and easy application, because this is a closure wig, baby. The look that I was going for today was super easy, simple, and glamorous. Because I usually do really natural looks, and you know, sometimes a girl wanna show up looking like a Disney princess. And I wanna say thank you to Wiggins Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this portion of this video. I'm gonna go through everything that I did to style this wig. I'm gonna show you what this wig looked like when she came out of the box, and what she looked like when she was popped and plopped onto my head and given this look. If you wanna see everything I did to style this wig, curl this wig, customize this wig, and what this wig looked like when she came out of the box, please keep on watching and I'll be back to do this face this is okay y'all let's go ahead and get started this wig comes in the wig is hair bag and inside the bag of course you get lashes a uh, wig melting band and of course you get your wig now this wig is absolutely stunning and it's gorgeous and it is a 5x5 HD lace frontal body wave wig it is 18 inches long and 180 percent density right now I am just plucking the hairline on this wig now the hairline on this wig was already pre-plucked but y'all know me I ain't me if I ain't plucking so I'm going across the hairline and just plucking some hair out to make it look a little bit more realistic i'm doing the same thing on both sides i actually kind of over plugged maybe a little bit by the tracks near the end of the closure but girl that's always okay that's what baby hairs are for as you can see the hairline looks super duper realistic and next all we have to do is work on layering the hair as you can see i'm working on damp or close to wet hair i think this hair was about hmm, I would say 70 to 80% wet, but I felt like it'd be better to work on damp hair because it'd be quicker. And I wanted to see if I could style it just a tad bit better. So I'm um, parting out a triangle in the front so I can do some layering. Now y'all already know, I can't cut hair, girl. I never get it right, but I can get it close to right. So what I'm gonna do is twist this triangle section into like a long twist and then I'm just gonna cut it at the bottom. That's supposed to create like, almost like a curtain bang situation, but I figured if it looked like a curtain bang situation, once I brushed it back, it would look, look layered. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does, but it kind of made sense to me. So I decided to do another triangle, a second triangle and do the same thing. Comb the hair all the way out, twist it into like a little, twisty thingy and then cut off the bottom so I cut off like another inch inch and a half then I made another smaller triangle because I felt like I was doing something girl you couldn't tell me I wasn't a stylist <laughs> like you could tell by the way I'm combing this hair <laughs> girl I thought I was doing something you hear me so I combed that other section back and then I twisted it one more again Twisted it all the way to the bottom and then chopped off another chunk of hair. Now, as you can see, I felt like I was done at this point and I wanted to see what the hair was giving and it did give what I think it was supposed to give, but I don't know. Either way, I felt like it would work out. So next, what I'm gonna do is just part the hair back down the middle in its original part. And I'm just gonna comb through the hair and then do just a little bit more layering, or I think I'm layering, girl, I don't know what I'm doing here, cause I'm not even cutting the hair, look at that. 
just a mess. My hair looks a mess too, but don't, don't worry about that, girl. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the back as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim some of the ends off the back so it would be more of a blunt cut. Next, I'm gonna flatten the hairline using the wig and weave mousse, and I'm just gonna apply the mousse to the hair. Again, this hair is still kind of damp, in the front is less wet and is more damp. And I'm just gonna go ahead and comb the hair back and then part the hair down the middle again. What I'm doing is flattening the hairline while curling the hair. So I decided I wanted to curl the hair while wet using these rope curlers. Girl, bad idea, okay? I didn't have a lot of time to dry this hair, but it was a good idea at the same time, but you'll figure it out towards the end. But what I'm gonna do here is do the rope curl method which is basically take a piece of hair wrap it around and grab another piece of hair and wrap it around i'll bring that piece all the way back to the front i was messing up girl i was getting mixed up because this hair is wet bring it back to the front then wrap it around and you just keep going Girl, working with wet hair is much harder than working with dry hair, but I felt like I would get better results. So what I did was continue to wrap the hair around, but I used a comb to smooth through the hair because the hair was like tangling and flipping. Girl, it was doing too much. So I did the same thing on the other side and I just wrapped it around till the very, very end. And what I decided to do was take a hair tie, as you saw on the other side, to secure those ends. And now I'm just gonna do the back side. Now you can do this with one row curler and it would end up similar, but I felt, uh, I told y'all last time that I like to get more voluminous curls and I get the best curls when I do one row curler in the front and one row curler in the back. Plus, if the hair is damp, then it's easier for the hair to dry because all this hair being clumped up together, the hair on the inside closer to the roller is not gonna dry as fast. So we did the same thing on the other side. I've never done this before, so I was hoping it was gonna end up looking good, but I decided to dry this hair using my blow dryer as well as my hooded dryer to get this hair dry as fast as possible. So in order to dry all of these curls, I decided to use my wig dryer head with a blow dryer in the mouthpiece and a hooded dryer together. So it dries from the inside and the outside. While that's drying, I'm going to do my baby hairs because this is a closure wig. So we needed to conceal that side of the cap because girl is gonna go from skin to hair, skin hair. We didn't want that. So after we did the baby hairs, of course, we're gonna do our base. I'm going to do a wig grip and a wig cap that is closer to my skin tone. And I'm going to just go ahead and plop on this wig. As you can see, I decided that I needed to flatten this hairline using the Andes hot comb. I'm just gonna do that while the hair is still curling and drying. And next, I need to tint the lace. I didn't show you because the stuff is messy, but I did tint the lace. Next, we're gonna go, go ahead and cut off our lace. Girl, I left on a lot of lace, but we'll be able to fix that later. And I'm gonna use the wig dealer spray to apply the wig as an adhesive spray. Love this spray. I use a rat tail comb just to secure the lace, all that lace that I got on my forehead that I still need to cut off. But I also am gonna do baby hairs. Just gonna cut off those baby hairs on the side to conceal that side of the closure. And I'm just gonna lay those baby hairs down with the got to be glued, ultra glued gel in the black packet. Not the one the yellow girl. That's gonna tear my forehead up and y'all know how I feel about my forehead. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and secure those edges of the lace that I cut off and we're going to melt that lace into the hair. Now, after three hours of drying this wig, it still was kind of wet. So I had to use my Dyson blow dryer to dry the hair, but one monkey don't stop no show for you because guess what, when I pulled this wig or this hair off of these rollers baby girl baby girl look at them curls oh my god oh you can tell that the hair is super soft fluffy thick girl this hair was so stunning and beautiful i just was in love with it next i'm going to take my andis hot comb just to 
smooth out some of the bumps from the rollers and I'm gonna take a paddle brush just to smooth out the hair and smooth out those curls. I wanted to see what them girls' curls was going to do. So once I smooth out the curls, as you can see, it looks stunning, but I felt that the ends felt a little bit dry because of how they were wrapped around the rope curlers. So I just chopped the ends off. And girl, amazing, beautiful. It really made the hair much fluffier. And just to get a little bit more oomph in my oomph, girl, I decided I need to do a little bit more curtain bangation. Obviously, I'm addicted to this method, but I just twisted it around and cut the hair. And as you can see, I got a little bit more lift on the top of my head. It looks stunning and it looks gorgeous, but you can see that there are some flyaways at the top. So I'm gonna take my ZLA um, wax stick and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down those flyaways as you can see the wig looks stunning it looks gorgeous the hair is like fluffy full of body the dark color is gorgeous and i'm in love with it i want to say thank you to again to wiggins hair for sponsoring this portion of this video i'll leave a link for this wig down below let's go ahead and get into this face let's match the glam with this face Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with this face. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. We're gonna make it quick, simple, easy. I was thinking about doing like a powder face. I don't know. But something that's effortless that can go with this hair because this hair is giving effortless waves, curls, easy. So, of course, y'all know I need to start with the headband. Wow, my eyelashes are so shiny. Are they blinding you? I hope not, girl. <laughs> Every time I do a new set of lashes, they just need a good wash so they don't look like plastic spider legs on my eye. It's got a sheen. Uh oh, so I text me? Oh. I wanna do something easy, simple, and I just went to, let me show you. I went to the CCS, and I think you saw it in my last vlog. Now, I know y'all know. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm the girl that don't like spending full price on anything. If I can get it on a sale, it's super exciting. I don't know what it is. It's really exciting. And I found some super high-end makeup for $10. Like some of this makeup costs $70 full price. The only thing about the CCS is that I don't know if any of this is actually my skin tone. So I'm gonna just pray on it. I'm gonna pray on it. I'm gonna hope it's my skin tone. I think I'm gonna do an all like powder foundation outside of like my concealer. I wonder how that's gonna work. Let's start with our primer. Now the primer, y'all know I didn't change my primer. I'm gonna use the same primer that I always use. It's the uh, NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Primer Spray. Let me, I'm just gonna spray the face down. I'm gonna do powder foundation, but oh my God, I'm sweating. And why do I have on sweatpants? So it's gonna be no like liquid foundation on the base and I'm just gonna do concealer and powder foundation. I'm gonna see how that works. So we'll see. Now the first product that I have, this is the Bobbi Brown Intensive Serum Concealer. <laughs> now baby, let me zoom y'all in because we about to get real. It's in the color Almond. Let me see if it's, oh, this is right. Okay, Intensive Serum. Now, what is the intensive serum concealer supposed to do? I don't know, but it's the perfect color. At least I think. I just wonder like, what are we gonna, what's the clean girl version of like for winter makeup? Cause I know people, people typically go like full coverage, more full coverage towards the holidays. So I'm wondering what that's gonna be. But as far as how this feels on the skin, Amazing, I love how it feels on the skin. Now, as far as bronzer, is this an almost all Bobbi Brown look? <laughs> yes. I think for bronzer, I think I'm gonna stick with the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in Walnut Skin. I still haven't found like a bronzer that is an actual bronzer. Cause the bronzers that they had there, girl, they were my highlighter, <laughs> okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and blend this into the face. Y'all, I'm doing makeup on here like it's still, um, like it's still like in style. <laughs> Don't nobody care about makeup. Like makeup is not like the, the thing on YouTube, but I'ma still do it, I'ma do it. Do y'all see how that lace is looking? Like this looks like it's my hair. 
I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but like toot toot, beep beep. Oh no, I sounded like, mm. but toot toot, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, the face is bronze. Oh girl, it's red. Girl, I look like I'm blushing. Like this is red red. Oh, girl, blending this out. Oh my God. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. Like, wow. I'm about to be a high-end girly because look at how that looks on the skin. <gasps> Baby. Okay, this middle part of my face is about to be real light. <laughs> Oops, but this is the way I used to do it. I used to conceal all the way around my mouth, but see, sometimes it would look weird on pictures. But it's so smooth to blend. It's really smooth blending. Wow, I'm gonna add some of that bronzer back to the cheeks. And let's see, let's add some concealer down the nose to highlight. Now, I'm wondering if I should just, okay, so I do like this weird thing where I highlight the whole nose and then I conceal it, well, then I bronze it. Girl, this about to be quick, quick. This is so pretty. Okay, well, it kind of looked real light and real crazy, but it's about to be real cute. Don't worry about it. I have a question for y'all. Do y'all watch YouTube shorts? I'm wondering because I, I thought about doing YouTube shorts, but I'm not sure what sort of content I want to put on shorts. Could y'all let me know? Cause I thought about doing it. Cause I feel like, you know, the girls are doing it now and I don't want to miss a wave. <laughs> y'all know, I, I don't know. Y'all just let me know down below. But look, I hope this don't fall into my smile lines. Bobby Brown, girl. This is the sheer finish loose powder in the color soft honey. And I'm going to set under the eyes. Now, I tried this the other day, and I don't think I like it as much as the Laura Mercier powder, but I guess I had to try it again just to be sure. But it's in the color. Oh, girl. I do not use my... Hold on. Let me use the right hand, the correct hand. Okay. Not me overpowdering. Oh, this is nice. Girl, not me saying everything is nice. <laughs> But look, I wonder if I should have just dusted this on, but like, I mean, I feel like this is good. I'll go ahead and leave a link for the CCS down below and I also leave the full price products as well. Now those will be affiliate links. Now the CCS, I'm not gonna link individual products because it could be there and then not because it's it's almost like a, like a, like a, you know what I'm saying, it's a whole, like, it's a discount place, so it may be there today and not there tomorrow. If you have a CCS in your city, please go. I know Gina has said something about it, Gina Janine, if you watch her. She has said something about the CCS, but I'm telling you, if you have one in your city, you need to go because all of these products were $10. I got a full Born This Way matte foundation for $10. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and set my bronzer. We're gonna set the bronzer. I'm gonna set it with warm chestnut. I got the same powder. This is the sheer finish loose powder. And I'm gonna set the bronzer on the face. Girl, if this all works out, this is like a perfect like brunch, family day sort of face. Did I use this already? I don't think I did. This is brand new. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And let me just, ew, that is messy. Oh, I'm a little bit afraid that this may be a little bit too deep. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh my God, it's sticking to my, um. Mm, that may be too deep. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's the side I put it on. Let me try the Born This Way multi-use complexion powder. I wonder if I can use this to set it. Maybe this is, like this is more towards my skin tone. Oh, let me try this. Oh, oh yes, that's much, well, 
Is that better or or am I fooling myself? This is where we are, but I use this in the color Chai. This is actually my foundation color with them. So, I don't know if it's like doing too much or, y'all let me know down below, but what's happening here? Can y'all tell me what I'm doing? Because I feel like, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, but this is what like, this is what the color looks like. It looks like it's not this deep. But like when I put it on my face, it's actually deep. It looks like real light. Girl. Hmm. Yeah, because it's definitely deep. This is like a pretty, pretty color. I wonder if I should like just blend it all over the face. Just a little. I'm not a swirler, but I probably should swirl, right? But this is pretty though. And it's giving very much full coverage. Wait, what? Girl, what did I come up with? Oh my God. <laughs> like you can't tell me this is actually not, like is this working out? Like we, we, are, we are testing makeup and I'm wondering if this is working out. Is this working out? <laughs> Why are there always helicopters around here, girl? Okay, so I'm gonna take some more of the soft honey powder and y'all know I like to powder my brows. Love to powder my brows just to get them, you know, like prepped and ready to go for the eyebrow pencil. And since our hair is really, really dark, I can still stick with my brow pencil. Now I didn't get a new brow pencil Brand, this actually looks good. It actually looks, y'all see it? Do you see it or am I delusional or do you see it? Oh girl, you can see my track too. Girl, you can see everything. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take my NYX brow pencil and espresso and I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. Y'all know I always use this to do my eyebrows, so. Go ahead and lay this down. Oh, I think I just, I said last get ready with me that I hit 70K subscribers and I hit 15K on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Um, what do I be posting over there? I be posting a full body picture, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to learn how to, you know, do full body pictures. Like I just now learned and they're saying pictures ain't it. But I'm gonna post them pictures, girl. I'm gonna post them. I'm trying to learn how to do full body pictures and not be self-conscious. Y'all let me know if y'all are like the same way because I just be so, like there's so many things to think about. And when you get to like, first you think you are doing it. Like when I'm taking my pictures, I'll be like, mm, mm. My husband takes the best pictures. Like he knows my angles better than I do. He's great at taking photos of me, but when I'm doing it by myself, girl, I was telling one of my friends, somebody I reconnected with. I was telling a girl, I be not need, Pigeon toe, bow legged girl, just bumping knees and toes, trying to make me look like I got hips. But that's not even stuff I should be thinking about. Like, but I still be thinking about that. All that stuff be going through my head when I'm taking pictures. But I feel like my best pictures are just like when my husband takes them because he's not self conscious. He's not conscious. He's not thinking the same things I'm thinking when he's taking photos. He's just getting like good angles, good lighting, all that type of stuff. So I just need to see myself the way my man do. <laughs> and that's it. I love my body and all that type of stuff. It's just when pictures come up, like it's just, it's different. Y'all let me know if you know what I'm talking about. Pictures just make things different. I feel like iPhone, I don't know if I've talked about this before. I feel like iPhone just be trying to sabotage a girl. I know what you be doing, iPhone. <laughs> Saboteur, saboteur. <laughs> Why do I make myself laugh so hard? Like what is going on? I'm not even drinking or nothing today. Yeah, I, I wanna go on a vacation so bad, but I don't know where to go. I wanna go back to Vegas. I'm telling you the last Vegas, Vegas, Vegas vacation. I got my Invisalign in. Our Vegas vacation, if you didn't see the Vegas vlog, girl, not me plugging all my videos and stuff. If you didn't see the Vegas vlog, I'll link it. It was the best trip I ever had in my whole entire life. It was amazing. And I just want to go back. Staying at the Cosmo, baby. Staying at the, uh, what was it? The Aria Sky Suites? Ooh, 
I feel like all I need is a little bit of blush. So, what blush do I have? Do I have any other blush than the one I usually use? So I have this blush. This one I actually didn't get from the CCS. I got this blush from Target. It's the Beauty Bakery snack -a rooms blush. Now this stuff is blushy, baby, but I feel like it's perfect for fall. Ooh. 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 A little bit goes a long way, girl. Oh, <laughs> baby, I feel so cute with blush. Ooh. Oh my God, with this headband, I feel like a Disney girl. Oh my God. Shout out to the new Little Mermaid. Oh, oh my God. I'm just gonna blend that kind of out a little bit. I wonder if I can blend it out or if that's just where it is. Um, <laughs> ooh, because I feel like it's giving um, a little bit muddy in the cheeks. It's giving muddy. Muddy it is, girl. I like to give. Like muddy is an aesthetic. <laughs> muddy in the face. I know that's right. I'm not gonna do nothing to the eyes. No lower lash line stuff. No eyeshadow. We're gonna keep it simple, simple. Plus I just did my lashes and I don't want the stuff to get stuck in the glue. So I don't, girl. One thing I didn't get was new stuff for lips, but I wonder if I should do a red lip. Is that too much? I'm not doing nothing else on the face. I could do a red lip. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. So I have my chapstick. Can you tell me why we do this? Tell me why we do this. Do you do this? Just buy a new one. I just went and bought $100 worth of makeup on sale, but $100 full of makeup, but I can't get a new chapstick. I can't, I can't. I gotta fold this thing up into a yoga, a yoga stance, a yoga pose in order for me to get the, the lip stuff out. Like what do we, What do, I need to get some help grim. One thing about red lips is you got to be hydrated and I'm not so let's hope uh, my lips don't look crusty. For my red lips what I like to do I like to line my lips with a brown lip liner. So I'm going to use my NYX Line Loud the same lip liner I always use in Rebel Kind and I like to use brown. So I'm gonna create a base first to make sure my red lip is red red. So I'm gonna use the Russian red lipstick from MAC. I actually got this from the CCS like a long time ago. This is not the color that I'm wearing because this is actually not the type of red that I like. That's not the red. This is more of a Christmassy red. Now the red that I love is the lip bar red in the color, what is this? I've been wearing this for years, what is this? Boss Lady, every time I go somewhere, Boss Lady is the one I get compliments on. You hear me? Like, compliments. So, I'm gonna take. Oh. And the great thing about the lip bar is that it has a pointed um, doe foot applicator. Oh. Why am I making all those sounds? What's going on with me? So the center of the lip, I would like to use Boy Trouble. Now this is like a brighter orange red, but I like using this to like add dimension to the lip and make it look like, I don't know how to describe it. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry down. And then I need to grab some earrings and that'll be the full look, girl. That took like 15, 20 minutes. And it's all powder foundation. And is it settling into my smile lines? I don't think so, but I need to hurry up before it does. So let me put on some earrings. Do I have some earrings I can wear? And then we're gonna take this off, girl, and it's gonna be a look. Should I put on eyeshadow? No, <laughs> no, I don't want eyeshadow, I don't want it. Okay, so I put on my little Amazon earrings. Y'all know I love a good hoopy Amazon earring. And next, I'm just gonna spray the face back down to set it. And because it's, it's looking a little cakey because it's powder, but it's actually not, it's not heavy at all. So I just need to like melt it. And then I want to see what it looks like with the hair down. Cause with the hair up, I really do feel like, is it Belle? 
Not me having to Google it. I think I'm talking about Cinderella though. I'm mixing up Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Either way, girl, the girls can never compare. <laughs> Okay, let's take this off and let the hair do what it does. Oh girl, the Disney, oh, put this armpit down. I was about to say the Disney girls could never. <laughs> now I'm not talking about the new Little Mermaid, but the old ones, <laughs> they could never. Was that what I was trying to do? No, but that's what we ended up with. Girl, this was fun. And I feel like all this powder, girl, this is giving up old phase. <laughs> Not old face, but like, you know what I'm saying? This is like old school, not old school makeup, but you know the girls are going real light and they ain't having no fun, but this is, this is something, this is a lot. Wow. <gasps> not my hands being this dry. I keep washing my hands. I mean, I guess you know I wash my hands, but girl, let me put on a lotion or something. This is embarrassing. Still got a little bit of red lipstick on my hands. That stuff, ooh, it don't move. It don't move. My hell, I'm stuck in time. Anyways, <laughs> I just be running my mouth, y'all. I don't know what I be talking about. I feel like I should do lower lash line mascara because this is bothering me. Uh, I'll do lower lash line mascara. I'm gonna use this same little Smashbox moment. Yeah, it looks weird without it. I gotta do it. Y'all see a difference? Like, huge difference. Ooh. I probably would like it a lot better with eyeshadow, but I don't have time for that. So, this is what we doing today. What do y'all think? I don't know. Like, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the makeup. This is the first time I used it. It's coming off a little bit more cakey than I'm used to, but it's a little bit more makeup-y then I would like it to be. I could have laid off the blush though. Definitely could have done that. <sighs> Let's go ahead and back it up. Let's do the full look. This is a finished look. That was like really super duper, like quick glam sort of face and glam hair with um, a t-shirt. <laughs> this is like wearable, right? For like a date night. If you're a red lip girly like me, I love a red lip. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that's tied through and delay, but a red lip is always a classic. Y'all tell me what you think down below. Very simple, easy. It took me like 20 minutes to do. So, y'all let me know. Let me know what you think. I'll leave links for all of the products that I used down below. I also will leave the CCS. I'll leave the link to the CCS down below because they do have a store online. You're not going to get the products as cheap as I got them because I walked in store, but... If you can get them online, it's still gonna be cheaper online than it is going into a store and picking it up from any of your other stores where you pick up your makeup. Oh, I'll also leave a link, like I said, for the beautiful wig down below. This thing showed up and showed out and it still is. Hello? I love you all. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Pearlies? All right, I gotta go.